Hello and welcome to another video from Marky Mark and I thought I would share the records that I've purchased in the last week or so and um, talk about them and hopefully you will listen to them, maybe buy them and I'd be very interested in what you think about them. The very first record I'm going to start off with is this one from folk singer, folk writer, very talented chap called Richard Dawson and this is Henke which is a collaboration between Richard Dawson and Circle and um, very pleased to have this alongside my other Richard Dawson albums Peasant and 2021 no sorry 2020 um, this is a fantastic album uh, tells a lot of stories as does most of Richard Dawson's work and depicts many of the facets of human life um, and the, the difficulties uh, and the, and the um, pressures of, of, of everyday living. I would totally recommend you, I'm not going to say any more than that, other than have a listen to it. But this is great. Henke by Richard Dawson and Circle. Just come out, I think it was the last couple of days. Beautiful pressing, really nice. I'm not sure where it was pressed, but it's really nice. Okay, next, next one. I'm going to go with this. Uh, really, really pleased to get this on Thursday, I think it was. Uh, Crossings, Herbie Hancock. I'm a big Herbie Hancock fan. Um, I have a few, well, quite a few of his records. But this stands out to me as one of his, one of his greatest, in my opinion. Um, lots of rhythm, lots of... Um, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful pressing, actually. Um, really pleased to have this. It's a gatefold. Speaker's Corner did a fantastic, a fantastic um, job on this. And if you if you're into Herbie Hancock, uh, into even if you're not into jazz, but he wants some uh, really good, decent kind of rhythm tunes, or you know whatever you might call it, jazz. I would really recommend this. It's beautiful, very accessible. Um, one of my favourite, actually, of Herbie Hancock's, to be honest. Beautiful. Very good. Now, moving on to two of the greatest records that I've, that I've purchased this month. Really, really pleased to get this. Um, and I cannot speak highly enough of it, to be fair. It's Mingus, the Black Saint and the Sinner Lady, which, when I first heard it, I was not quite sure it was my kind of jazz and I had to give it a few listens and it's something that I've understood. It's just something clicked um, and it is just beautiful. It really, really, really is a beautiful pressing. They've done a really good job on this um, and um, it's as, it, when you understand it as being, as, as Mingus describes it as ethnic folk dance music, you understand that each each part, each track within the whole album um, almost kind of depicts a, a chapter in a play. It's, a, it's, it's fantastic. Um, I'm really, really pleased to get this. And um, if you're just starting out in jazz, I really recommend this. This is fantastic. Along with that, I'm gonna just suddenly go into this. Again, this is my favorite of the two. Mingus, 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 Mingus. Um, this, again, folk dance music as he describes it. Um, the orchestration quality and build up of this album is fantastic. The way that he um, separates and, 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 and just organizes the different elements. Um, of the uh, of the group is just amazing and it's a beautiful pressing it's really quiet there's very dead sound stage um, uh, you know the floor the, the night vinyl floor is, is beautifully dark beautiful um, it is gorgeous and I've, I've had this on repeat most of the week it's been fantastic so I recommend that um, and lastly lastly but not least um, completely different from any kind of jazz, um, modern day pop, 
I've really, really enjoyed having this. This is Porter Robinson's Nurture, um, and I, I'm so glad I ordered this back in August and received it um, last couple of days, and it's it's stunning. Um, I mean, the way that this has been made, um, Porter Robinson, who overcame so many issues around depression, anxiety, to make this. Uh, it's It's got loads of earworms, it's poppy, it's got um, a lot of modern day beats, um, and the storytelling is lovely. The way that he tributes one of the tracks to his mum and the way that she, that she stood by him and supported him. And um, it's not for everyone, but for me, I've really enjoyed listening to this as a, as a modern day interpretation of, of how COVID has affected um, young people. I, I, one of the, this and um, Charlie XCS's um, album from the beginning of last year. Uh, this is how I'm, this is how I'm feeling. Basically, depicts how COVID is affecting, um, as I see it, youth, the youth of today and how generations will be affected by it. So I'm delighted to have this, delighted to have this as part of my collection and I'll be interested to hear what you think. Have a lovely weekend uh, or whenever you see this video and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, bye.